rights for everyone or no one. The women, wearing Islamic hijabs, chanted as they marched through the capital city of Kabul home to the country's largest universities. The Taliban proved that they have not changed. They have imposed strict restrictions on women, banning them from social life and pursuing education. The Taliban even executed and flogged women in public. We have been fighting alone. The international community left us all by ourselves. We have no political support. Eyewitnesses say the protests in Kabul were quickly shut down by Taliban security officials and at least Five women and a couple of male protesters were arrested. Women activist group sources confirmed that two of those arrested have since been released. And some women here say they will not stop protesting. Taliban forces beat us up and arrested some of our female and male protesters and took them away. They scattered us apart. However, we will not let it go. We will fight for our rights. Taliban officials announced this week that female students have been banned from private and public universities in Afghanistan effective immediately. The ban was announced just a day before final exams. I had studied and prepared for my exam until very late that night. As soon as I woke up and saw the news about the ban, my dreams scattered apart. I started crying. Why are we treated as criminals? We have no respect here and no values for these people. The day after the announcement, several male professors from various universities in multiple provinces submitted their resignations. I and some of my colleagues resigned in protest against this dark day. We will not return to the university unless the decision is revoked by the Taliban. Afghan writer and human rights activist Shafiq Akbalwa called the ban on girls' education a crime against humanity. This catastrophe not only concerns the rights of women, but threatens our country's whole existence. The so-called international community is also responsible for this crisis, and now they cannot look away from us. They cannot walk from the mess they have created. A few hollow statements will not solve the problem. We need them to come up with practical and pragmatic solutions that eventually will bring tangible results for Afghans. The Taliban have severely limited women's rights since taking power in 2021. They have closed girls' secondary schools and banned women from public parks, gyms and baths. They have also made it mandatory for women to be completely covered in public and imposed harsh public punishments such as flogging for violating the new laws. Manaza Shahid, VOA News, Washington.